Trying South Indian breakfast for first time ever. I love South Indian food. One Alu Panther. Alu Panther? It's an Alu Paranta, not a Panther. Most popular South Indian food for breakfast. How is Alu Paranta South Indian food? Tastes like a French crepe. I like it 8.5, 10. Two, not sure, but I think Indian milk. Indian milk? I drink a lot as a dudu pin wale gore pakoras. That's not milk. Three, paneer pakoras. They look incredible. Finally, you say something right. Cheese for breakfast is great with the pesto combo, so perfect. 8.7, 10. The pesto is chutney. Four, aloo gobi. Yes, that is aloo gobi. Its main ingredient is cooked broccoli. I bet we'll look at butter. That's not broccoli, it's gobi. So where's the South Indian food? Because this is not South Indian food. Oh, no. Freaking butter chicken, man. Story of my life. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Don't you have any more clothes in your closet? Sala nangu pangu? Indian food, food hack. You grab your garlic naan and you just... Lay it on top of your buttered chicken. Quick pinch. Pinch it off in the rice, too. Oh my goodness, check that out. Oh. Mm. You want more poetry? Akkad bakkad bambe bo. Tum khane ke saath sambo kyu kar rahe ho? Let's make gulab jamun. I love gulab jamuns. An irresistibly sweet Indian treat. Why, why does it look like that? It looks weird, but I'm sure it still tastes okay. A soft and spongy sweetbread made with only two ingredients. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Fresh breadcrumbs, which you mix with nut butter and a... Nut butter? <laughs> Are you nuts? Splash of milk to form into a smooth dough before baking or air frying. The gulab jamun? It's not gulab jamuning. Soak your balls in this citrusy cardamom infused syrup. Leave them for a bit to soak some up before serving. Garnish with crushed pistachios and enjoy. Bro, those are not gulab jamuns. I came here thinking you were gonna do some chakade fatte. Instead, you made gora pagora tatte. What is this one? Good, good. Curry. Good. Curry, how much? He said curd, not curry. Okay, I take one. What's your name? Yeah, good man. What is it? Bro, he even said his name is curd man. He obviously sells curd. He's not gonna be selling chicken. What is it? So good, good. Ch chicken. My friend, your brain cells not brain selling? Buffalo curd. Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo curd. Yes, finally. Country. USA. Makes sense. Wow. I was not expecting this at all. What did you expect? School shooting? If you buy a curd, you get a fucking curd! It looks like some type of curd. What do you mean it looks like it is a curd? Not sure exactly how this is gonna taste, but let's go ahead and give it a bite. Bro, that's not how you eat- Bro, no, no. That is not my thing at all. I would compare this to rotten sour cream. No, I would not buy it again. Of course you're not gonna like it if you eat it like that. The only thing you people know how to eat is Joe Biden eat gun. Just hear those sleigh bells jingle ling a ring a ting a ting a ling a two ring a ling a ling a ting a ding 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 a you don't see me grabbing a donut, eating it, and be like, Have you ever tried Joe Biden Gigand? Today we're trying Indian food. And I got some garlic naan. We got some butter chicken. We got chicken lollipops. We got chicken tikka masala. And also some galubi jamuni. Galubi jamuni? Where is this galubi jamuni you're speaking of? Huh? Where is it? Oh boy, that is a gulab jamun, not a galubi jamuni. If I ever hear you say galubi jamuni, one more time, I swear to God, bro. Who we'll make sure this cat turns your tate into gulubi jamuni? Which one's better? Jalebi? Or the balam jalam? What the fuck is a balam jalam? I'm pretty sure that was a gulab jamun. Balam jalam sounds like some weird spell from Harry Potter. The boy who left has come to die. Balam uh, jalam! Oh, it's Musa. Hmm, goûtez ce naan. Lui et moi, nous avons un point commun, nous sommes très plats, même lorsque je fais des squats. Goûtons.
Le one. Le chase. Benjut. La Cruz Ante. Bunda Petit. Bonjour, Haram Khor. Yes, let's make biryani. I love biryani. What's that? Is that some kind of spice mix? Bro, don't use spice mixes. We're not gorapa Do it the right way. <laughs> What's that? No, seriously, what is that? Stop. Stop right now! Hola. What have you done? Why are you choding the biryani? Today you choded the biryani. But mark my words, because one day the biryani will chod you, and then you will know how it really feels. Pancho, Terry, Ma, the cupcakes, Terry, Pio, the cupcakes, Terry, Kutta, the cupcakes, Terry, Grandi, the cupcakes, Terry, Honeval, the Bunchy, the cupcakes, Terry, Masi, the Grandi, the Honeval, the Bunchy, the Kutta, the movie, Chip Kali, the cupcakes. I don't know what this is. It's like floating in. It's a gulab jamun. Oh my god, it's like, it's like maple syrup, like pancake balls or something? Pancake balls? <laughs> pancake balls. Pancake balls. I'm a solitary mother pancake today. British versus American food. National dishes. Which one is better? American versus British food? This is so interesting. Battle of the unseasoned. On one side, we have the Americans who only use two types of seasoning heart disease and diabetes. On the other side, we have the British who have an abundance of seasoning from all over the world but never learned how to use it. Who's going to win? Nobody knows. Starting with the USA. Who doesn't love a juicy, delicious burger? America's made a juicy burger packed with a punch of cholesterol. Now it's time for the British people to show us what they're made of. Move on to the British national dish of chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala? What the hell is British about a chicken tikka masala? You guys really steal everything, don't you? British people are just ganjus, manus, jaloos, maki juice. So who won? India. Banjot. Did you know that if you fry carrots with tomato and onions, separately warm on the oil spices, and then add fried nuts and seeds, raisins with basmati rice, and put everything cooked, then you will get a popular Indian dish biryani. Biryani? 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 How is that a biryani? Being the Lulu is not the Salulu, you Ulu! If you were gonna steal our spices, at least use them properly! Because that's not biryani, you Kamli Janani! My Indian heart is dying! And my Pakistani friends are crying! If you really think that's biryani, I dare you to enter a cooking competition in Pakistan. And I guarantee you that you will get more votes than Nawaz Sharif. <laughs> We have some simply delectable Gajar Kahalwa. Thank you for trying to say Gajar Kahalwa. You can also call it Gajarela. Your pronunciation might need a little work. It's okay, because you tried. So thank you for trying. We really appreciate you not saying something ridiculous like carrot pudding. <laughs> but I must say, there, there is something familiar with you. I feel like I've seen you somewhere. Hmm. Have you guys ever had carrot pudding? No, I have not had carrot Pudding. But you know what I've had? Gajarella or Gajar Kahalva. You don't see me grabbing a donut, eating it, and be like, Have you ever tried Joe Biden Gigand?
Oh my god, it's you! You've come a long way. I'm so proud of you. AKA carrot pudding. I've been gory, but gory. I know I said you've come a long way, but you went in the wrong direction. I will lose motion key machine. I know sharm me on the. Don't you have any sharm? Sala ketchup chod. Tomato chod. Namak haram chod. Gwandi ka kutta chod. Imran Hashmi ke thuk ke saath bara hua papi chod. Apparently the best Indian food in LA is found in a sports bar. Green chili chutney pizza. What the fuck? Fuck is a chutney pizza? I'm sorry, Mr. Gora Pakora, but you're getting scammed. Because if somebody's telling you that the best Indian food in LA is a chutney pizza, somebody's lying to you. To whoever made that pizza, stop being delusional. How can you as a brown person say that chutney pizza is the best Indian food? My friend, you're the Lulu. And remember, the Lulu is not the Sululu, you Pak Lulu. You're not the Gora Pakora, so stop this nonsense. Unless you're scamming them. Because then I thank you for your service. I really wanted to eat Japanese curry ramen, but realized I have no curry, no ramen. So I had an idea and decided to see what's in the fridge. I found this Indian chicken curry. Yes, good choice. Have Indian food instead. And thought, let's do something crazy. I grabbed some pasta. What are you doing with that pasta? Broke it in half and boiled it. <laughs> the Italians are not gonna like that. <laughs> now I began to mix it like two reunited lovers. Wait, why are you mixing them? What's wrong with you? You have no sharam? When I had my first bite, I kid you not, it was delicious. Now leave. Get out of here. Go to the jump. Unless you want me to take that mixture and put up your guard. Samosa and pani puri? You're gonna love this, bro. No, 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 bro. You eat it with chutney. You know you said samosa chutney? I said the samosa you bought comes with chutney, so... Dip it in the chutney and then have it. Dip it in the chutney, what are you doing? You finished it without chutney? Anyways, let's just have the pani puri. Where's the pani? Are you Bob the Builder? No, right? Then why the fuck are you building on top of your gold gappa? My guy, you can't have Pani Puri without Pani. Roses are red. That is not a Golgappa. Then you get it put in bed? What is this, Yappa? Welcome to British Classics, Episode 7, Chicken Tikka Masala. Namaste, welcome to Indian Food Classics, Fish and Chips, Mother Chod. Trying England National Dish Chicken Tikka Masala? The owner of this English pub said India copied England's tikka masala. This is a real version of the dish originated in England in it. Wow, tastes amazing, so authentic, eat tense. Boy, chicken tikka masala is not in... Wait, did you say 8 out of 10? That's it? <laughs> That's definitely English food. Oh my god, chicken tikka masala is British? I just found out. I mean, chicken tikka has existed in South Asia for centuries. And a lot of South Asian dishes have tomato-based curries. The spices used are also South Asian. But when you put all these together, it's obviously a British dish. And it's even more obvious when you look at who made it. It was made by a South Asian immigrant who moved to Britain and then opened an Indian restaurant. He didn't have any tomatoes to make fresh curry, so he just used canned tomato soup. And that's why this is an authentic British dish. It's like when I take a aloo pakora, I dip it in ketchup because tomato-based ketchup was made in America. This is now an American dish. You know what we call chicken tikka masala in India? Chicken tatti masala. The chicken tikka masala is so British. It's so British. It reminds me of the British Museum. Now, please, mate, if this is your cup of tea, take this chicken tatti masala and put up your fucking gun, mate. This is butter chicken curry. Bro, that's not butter chicken. Because butter chicken is supposed to have chicken in it. Where's the chicken? Because all I see in that sauce is a look gora pakora ben calora. But never mind that because I have something fun in mind. Okay, let's do something fun with it. I'm gonna pour all of the curry on top of the rice and give it a really nice mix. What are you doing? Why they gave me chopsticks, I don't know. But I'm gonna throw that curry and rice into a rice ball mold to shape it. What the fuck are you doing? If you think I'm making a butter chicken curry rice ball, you would be mistaken. Because of course it's not a ball, 
was a triangle, god damn it! They did not teach you about Pita Gandur and Therem? Because this is a fried butter chicken curry rice ball. What did the Gora Bukora Bankalora cholesterol triangle are you making? Was the butter chicken too healthy for you? It has all the delicious taste that we like, plus a super crispy texture that takes it from a 7 out of 10 to a perfect 10 out of 10. Would I make this again? Most definitely. Most definitely don't! Because if you do, I'll take my chappal and make your butta so lal, so lal, and then your party will wear you as a wedding lehenga. Not my Asian mom eating Indian food. Chole pature, I love chole pature. Giving your back. I'm gonna bite off. You don't have to eat it straight like that, just dip it in the chole and then eat it. Off the tip first, before- No, 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 don't open it up like that. Just rip a piece off and dip it in the chole and then eat it. <laughs> Out Chinese food from- I thought you were gonna have Indian food, that, that's- Chinese food. Real spoon to fill it to the max, nearly scooping up everything. They don't really want it. You actually don't need it anymore. Then Jit smothered it inside chicky tikka masala. Holy shit. What the fuck? What's wrong with you? Do you have no sharam? Thank God it's finally over. Made mine for portion control. Wait, wh why are you making another one? A random man came over to ask what the heck he had one and I ain't gonna share. I will- Oh my god, you a bloody child criminal! So inexcusable, so gullet, just looking like a jow. The bow Everything I eat, doing one meal a day at a taste of India. Indian food? Nice. We split and ordered the sesame chicken and it was really good. It was tossed in this sweet and sour sauce that definitely had a little kick to it. We were also sure to order some garlic naan bread that was delicious. Naan bread? Bro, just say naan. You don't see me going out and be like, can I have a bagel bread? We were sure to try some desserts as well and we asked for the two most popular ones. The first one were these fried donut balls that were- Fried donut balls? Fried donut balls? Those are gulab jamuns, not fried donut balls. Do you see me calling your precious hot dogs garam kutte? Or your meatballs Joe Biden kittete? Or your fried pickles tale hue gore pakore ke lore? Inky pinky punky, daddy bought the donkey. Donkey dies, daddy cries. Inky pinky punky, inky pinky punky. What the fuck? What are the gore pakora? Go back in your daddy, Laura. India cry. We need chai. What the gora pakora? Let's have some butter chicken. That's a lot of butter. And you just put that in the air fryer. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? You're making a mess. Please clean that up. Okay, thank you. Uh, is that soap? That better be oil. Curry powder? Bro, we don't even use curry powder. Mustard? Who puts mustard in butter chicken? What's wrong with you? What is that, peanut? Bro, you might as well just pee a nut in it. It looks disgusting. Ready-made rice. Oh my god, you're hurting my soul. What's wrong with you? Can you please stop? Whipped cream, bro. Why are you putting whipped cream in food? That's supposed to be just regular cream and that food doesn't even look cooked. That looks like a petrified concoction. That looks absolutely disgusting, bro. Why is there soap there? Bro, this doesn't even look like Indian food, bro. This looks like your average British breakfast fucking gora pakora pendalora. Bro, that chicken is still alive. I can still hear it go like, go, go, go. I think homemade chai will always beat out store-bought chai, so let me show you how to make it. God damn, we got a culture gora pakora over here making homemade chai instead of store-bought chai? I like what I'm hearing. First, I'll rip open 12 bags of... I thought you said homemade chai. ...of chai tea. No joke, we really need 12 bags. No Not the chai tea. Bro, asking for chai tea is like asking somebody, can I have some H2O water? Bro, chai means tea, so just say chai or say tea. Don't say chai tea, you're just saying titty. Even your kutas look at you like... Four cups of water to a boil. Once there, I'll add my tea bags and let them steep with the heat off for four minutes. Now that your house smells amazing, squeeze out all the juices from the bags and add a half cup of sugar. Now you can use it to make iced chai lattes or anything else you'd use chai for. Where is it? Hmm? Where is my homemade chai? You promised me homemade chai, you liar! You want to eat the shoe, you bloody candu! I have the first ever butter chicken fountain in here. It pumps butter chicken sauce forever. A butter chicken fountain? I bought a strip from the capital of India, Mumbai, sent straight to me to try with some mimosas and- You see this? This is what comes out when you Google mimosa. It's a cocktail. I wonder why it's called cocktail. Cocktail. And it's yellow. 
It's susu! First of all, the Indian mimosa with the butter chicken sauce. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Right here, right away. Mm. 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 This is amazing. This is not a mimosa. It's a samosa! Trying Indian food burrito. Indian food burrito? This should be interesting. When this happened, biggest scoop chicken tikka masala. You guys know that there's more food in India other than chicken tikka masala, right? It's not the only thing we eat. I mean, whatever you're making looks delicious right now. Fired up tandoori chicken. Sometimes it's okay not to mix all different kinds of food together. Like, enjoy the different flavors individually. You don't see me mixing a hot dog in my hamburger. But you know what? It's fine because it's still gonna be delicious, to be honest. But wait, there's more. Humongous samosas for shiggles. Extra tikka masala on top. How is it? Samosa? What's wrong with you? Why would you do that? Hands so fast, you can't. Wait, there's another one? Inside, but a chicky juice. How many times do I have to say this? But being the Lulu is not the Salulu, you Pug Lulu. You is Pug Lulu. Your Ami is Pug Lulu. Your whole mother fucking Khandan is Pug Lulu. Guys, I got myself an Indian and I cannot wait to show you. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. You can't just get yourself. An Indian. No, seriously, you need to let go of my boy Rajesh Patel. This is wrong. You can't just take another human being. In collabs in the bar. Goriadu, the fuckero. First, we got a poppadom. Oh, you're talking about food. <laughs> <laughs> Pulao rice. What I've been waiting for chicken tikka masala. That ain't no chicken tikka masala. That's just tomato sauce with chicken in it. Some sagaloo on there. This looks so good. What the hell is Sagaloo? Oh, Sagaloo. Thank God, I was about to go Pagaloo for a moment. Wari naan with it all on. Are you joking? Let's get loads of sauce. <clears throat> Are you guys so obsessed with mixing everything together? You don't see me taking a fish and chips and just dipping it in a hot dog? You don't see me taking Rishi Sunak and dipping it in Joe Biden Kikan? Ooh, samosas. I see, we're making some of the chat. Bro, what the fuck? You already had a carb wrapped up in a carb with some sauce on it, and then you wrapped it up in another carb! You guys love the chopped sandwich, so I obviously had to try an Indian version. It's basically just samosa chat in between naan. Bro, that's like taking garam kutta, putting in a garam kutta bund, put some sauce on it, chop into a bunch of pieces, and then put in the hamburger. Oh, cool. As expected, delicious. That was not necessary! Kiba, try it. You approve? Mm-hmm. Really good. Oh, she's lying! She's lying! You approve? Mm-hmm. You see that smile? I know it when I see it. She's lying. She's not telling the truth. Really good. Liar, liar, gun on fire! Have you ever tried a fried chai latte? No, but I'm about to fry your tatte. If not, it's because I just made it up, and if you don't, you'll definitely be missing out. What in the god apakora is going on? Start by making your tea, add the coconut milk, let it infuse for a minute, then add your slurry. Let it cook, transfer to a container, set and cut it down. Now pan in potato flour. It kinda looks like tea, bro. Same panko before frying to perfection. Serve with the mango and condensed milk dip and voila. Mango? Abe mango! Go straight to jail! And once you're there you can become sober because your dog is full of gobar! Best part about winters. Chocolate Kima? Hey bro, what the fuck is this? I don't care if it's chocolate Kima or chocolate Kabop. This is a pop. What the hell is wrong with people? I'm so tired of these Gora Pakoras, man. I'm gonna find out who this was. Answer? You're brown? What's wrong with you, bro? Huh? What's wrong with you? Give me a bloody answer, answer. He's a Pakistan. Oh, it's Look what I've got. What you got? And they're hot off the press. Let me show you. Ooh, show me. Let me show you. Jill babies. Jill babies? Jill babies? A brown man saying Jill babies? Excuse me, sir, are you Joe Biden calling his wife? Hey, Jill Baby, let's rumble in the cumble. No, right? It's because it's no Jill Baby. It's a Jill Baby. Jill Babies? Jill Babies? Lajabies? Lajabies? No, it's not Lajabies, Jill Baby. What? Fuck knows what they call it. 
1.5 billion people knows what they're called. Let's just call them little crunches of diabetes. Little crunches of what? I mean, that's fair. But these are hot off the press, look. They're the best. They are. They are the best. Even Jill Baby will tell you they taste better than Joe Biden. Geek. God. Ooh, Gold Guppe. I love Gold Guppe. KFC? I, I thought we were having Gold Guppe. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop! You're brown? Roses are red. You put KFC in a Gold Guppe. And the inside I'm dead. Every day and you see Appa. Today we are going to make the vote of Parantha. So we are going to make the vote of बनेंगे आलू के परांठे बट आटा हम गुनने वाले हैं पानी के साथ नहीं वोटका के साथ देख लो आपके सामने डाल रही हूँ तो आटा ऑलमोस्ट हमारा हो चुका है डन चलो जी जो बाकी बची हुई है वो भी डाल देते हैं Let's taste it. Mmm. भाई सच्ची में ना एकदम से ऐसा घूम गया। तो अगर आपको थोड़े नशेड़ी वाले पराठे खाने हैं तो आप try कर सकते हो। My Asian mom eating Indian food. Indians are also Asian. I mean, India is literally in Asia. But anyways, we're having Indian food. When this happened, plan. I thought you were having Indian food. Why is there corn dog there? I don't get it. Cheesy corn dog in. No! What is you doing? Take that monkey, that kuta out of that butter chicken right now! Hi, chicky tikka masala. Oh, look, she's pull going farther than your life. You're eating it? What's wrong with you? Hate crumb after hate crumb. What is this nonsense? You could have been dipping naan into the butter chicken, but you had to dip a monkey, that kuta. Do you want to eat the juta? Trying Indian snacks for the first time ever. The first snacks here we have an. Jalebi cheesecake donut? What? I'm so tired of these gold apple cars. Why would you do this? Wait, is that Indian currency? Brown people did this? But why would you do this to your own people? Wait, that looks like Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons, why would you do this? All they wanted was a French vanilla, not for you to go there and colonize them again. Dear Tim Hortons, just please take the jalebi cheesecake donut and shove it up, Justin Jordan's God. What is that? Okay, you're having a burrito. Nice. That looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Is that Indian food? Why do you have Indian food on the table? And a burrito. No! What are you doing? I'm pretty sure this butter chicken, not chicken names. Oh, what? Stop! Stop! This is not fusion, bro! This is full of shit! What are you doing with those chips? No! 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 Oh my! Why would you do that? This is. No! The Lulu is not the Lulu, you fuck Lulu! Oh my god, stop, just stop. Why did you buy tandoori chicken if you're just gonna turn it into more butter chicken? Another one? Oh my god, the whole family bugger, but two bugger! Did he mock bugger? Did I start a goddamn bugger? I'm making potato recipes from around the world. This time I'm back in South Asia with alu paratha. Alu paratha? That's my favorite food! You need to start by making a dough. So simply mix together two cups of flour with a cup of water and a sprinkle of salt. Let them know each other until nice and smooth and let it sit for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, get to peeling and boiling some potatoes in salted water. And once they're soft, mash them up before going in with grated garlic, freshly chopped cilantro. That's right! And don't forget the green chili! Your mix of spices and a sprinkle of salt. Give them a good mix and... That looks great, just don't forget the green chili! After 30 minutes, separate your dough into six, fill it up with potatoes, close it tight, roll... Where's the green chili? Oh, I get it. You're joking. You're gonna add it now. <laughs> Pull it down until nice and thin. Bro, I asked for green chili. So why are you doing the sambog with the bill now? And finish by cooking on medium heat in butter or ghee until golden brown on each side. Paronte without green chili? 
Banjo, do you think we are Gora Bagora? A Canadian university had a competition to see who can make the best food using bugs. Ew! What in the Gora Bagora is this? Bug brownies? Bug potato patties? Bug pizzas? Bro, what the? Bug samosas? I need to know who's responsible for this hate crime. Those are not bug samosas, they're bug samosas. Those are hey bug honey, kya hai samosas. Those are bug bug dike bosh dike bosh dike samosas. Those are bug samosas. If you want to use bugs in your food, go ahead, by all means, do whatever you want. But keep our food out of this. Trying the highest rated Indian restaurant in the world. We're having some Indian food. Let's see if I can watch this without getting mad. One Indian papadam and chips. Oh, maybe this video won't be that bad. <laughs> Adding Indian BBQ sauce. Indian barbecue sauce? Indian barbecue sauce? That's not Indian barbecue sauce. I'm a bander cube. What in the Gorap Gora Kalora is this? You Indian roll tortilla. Indian roll tortilla? Bro, you need to get in your car and roll all the way straight to jail. Three, Indian crab yeah. mimosa. It's not a mimosa, it's a fucking samosa. I was like two mimosa. This is my mimosa. There is not a Ghanar mimosa. Wait a minute, did I say crab samosa? There's not a crab samosa, that's a crab samosa! <laughs> this is butter chicken curry. It's arguably one of the best dishes out there. I agree 100%. It's one of the best dishes ever made. But I'm in the mood for pizza, so that's what I'm gonna have. You want pizza instead of butter chicken? No wonder that egg is sad. I'm using the rice to make the crust. Rice to make pizza crust? Added an egg and cheese to help bind everything together. Now that it's looking round, I'm gonna throw that sucker into an air fryer. You're making pizza crust out of rice and then putting it in an air fryer? <laughs> the Italians are not gonna like this one. I love it, bro. Until it's a nice golden brown. Hey, yo, what are you doing with the butter chicken? You better not put that onto that pizza. I'm just spreading some of that curry all around it. What are you doing? Stop! Chicken goes on top, and of course, no pizza is complete without some cheese. Jeez, I'm a harami, please! Back into the air fryer it goes, and after a few minutes, it should look something like this. Could you call this a pizza? Not only did he commit a hate crime against one country, but against two countries! You guys are asking me what my Indian food order please is? Please stop asking Gora Pagoras about Indian food. I bet it's gonna be something super original, like chicken tikka masala and naan bread. Of course, I got the delicious mango lassi. Oh, you got mango lassi, that's nice. Why are you sucking it like that though? That's weird. Something about Indian food just makes me so happy. I'm glad it makes you happy. Like, look at that. When you see this kind chicken of- Chicken tikka masala, I called it. I freaking called it. What's next, naan? Oh, just get hit with that smell. Why are you smell like that? From the naan bread. Naan bread? Bro, you just eat bread, bro. What's straight. the point? Just call it what it is, naan. And why are you eating it straight? Have it with something. Mm, I could eat this all day. Got two samosas, but watch what I do with these. What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna eat them, okay. Good, First, good job. Let's make the Indian Did something taco. right. Indian taco? What do you mean, Indian taco? Bro, why are you being. Why are you. Why can't you just be normal? Take the knot, put it in chicken, take myself, and in your mouth, bro. Why are you being so sexual? This is making me really uncomfortable, you turkey at me. Empty out your samosa. No. Don't worry, Why? I'm still eat that. I am very it's worried. Like that chicken tikka masala? No. Stuff it in. No. Why? I will stuff your gun with chicken tikka masala, mother joke! Volcano. What are you doing? Waiting Stop. Please. Dude, bro, you is a bagel, bro. What's wrong with you? Stop. What are you? One thing about Indian food, if you want to flush out your system, just have some curry. I'm a teri... I'm even a hurry. Oh, teri madi loose motion, bro. You leave in a hurry. Just duck out, go to jail, and leave in a hurry. Mm. This is a hate crime. That's it. Indian food is the way to my heart. Yeah, but you get out of our heart. Mm. Go to jail. You're making me very uncomfortable. Oh, oh my goodness. Overall rate, 9.2. Only 9.2, but it's a 10! Ooh, sag and roti. Hi guys, so we're Hi. making sag pizza today. You're what? Um, 
This isn't gluten free. This is. Chocolate. I don't care if it's free. That looks disgusting. Why would you mix pizza with dog? Do you have a dog? Put that on pizza with some cheese and. Bro, this is wrong. This is a hate crime. Why would you do? Is your hand brown? <gasps> You're brown. Why are you hate criming yourself? Put it in the oven. Right what is wrong with you? Do not put uh, that in the oven. Uh, that... This is the. Bro, this pizza. looks disgusting. God gave you assholes to take a shit with Three you. Take a shit with time. your brain. Uncle G, don't lie now. Don't Do lie. It. I'll be Uncle G, why are you lying? I know that tastes like fucking... You see that right there? That's Ruovza. Ruovza is one of my favorite South Asian drinks of all time. But there's one problem with this picture. Barbie juice? Bro, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Who did this? Tell me right now. Who did this? This. I don't care who you are, but I will find you and there will be consequences. And I will pray that you get an eternal life of loose motion daily. Because make no mistake, for a crime like this, that's exactly what you deserve. Barbie juice, salakan juice, makiri tati juice. What? in the gora pakora is that girl that's no jaw that's jaw duffa hole i got a jamaican patty and an indian mimosa let's see who makes it better starting with the indian mimosa oh my god girl i can't believe he actually said that to you what a loser anyways you could do so much better anyone else put ketchup on their jalebi no, nobody else does that. You need help, bro. Go to the doctor. Actually, you know what? Don't even go to the doctor. Go to the animal doctor, bro. That's right. Go to the veteran. The, the go to the Vatican. The veterans. I mean, go to the vet. Go to the dungar doctor. You fucking dungar. The teacher secretly opened a colleague's lunchbox, stuck her greasy hands in it, picked up a French fry. French fry? Boy, that's a jalebi, not a French fry. There's nothing French about it. Bonjour, haram kor. I got you my favorite snack. Me too. I have my Indian mimosa right here. Abe gora pakora with the chota lora. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not a mimosa. It's a fucking samosa. Oh wait, there's sauce for it. Perfect. If you want to dip it, that's some pesto right here. Bro, that's not pesto sauce. It's chutney. Yeah. Okay. This is too much, I can't take this. This is a hate crime! I'm gonna yam it from. What? Yeah? Mmm! On beef potatoes, there's some butter chicken, there's a lot of like Indian flavors in there. Butter chicken? There's no butter chicken in a samosa! You like that? It's really good. It reminds me of jerk chicken. Does it have jerk chicken inside? Why are you playing dandia with the samosa? This is not how you eat a samosa! I will take the dandia and put it up your chutard! You bandar kya jana adre ka swad jod! Have you ever tried a galab jam and pizza? No! Ew, now that's disgusting! Why would anyone put that on pizza? Bro, that's a hate crime! Okay, this pizza looking kinda good, I want it! I'm gonna try, but don't put any balloon juice! Yo! No! Ew, what is you? You're brown? What is you doing? Do a traditional Indian mimosa. Add Indian BBQ sauce on top. Boy, where's the mimosa? That's my boy. You keep saying mimosa, but I don't see any mimosas in that video. You see something wonderful, but it's not a mimosa. Since you love trying Indian food, let me have you try something else Indian too. It's called Poetry. Akkar da bakkar da bombe bo, that's a samosa mother cho. I've been having this craving to take cheese, pizza, and chicken tikka masala. Oh my god! Why the fuck didn't you invite me? I would have brought the pizza. We've been doing chicken tikka masala pizza for years. Oh yeah, so good. Cereal with curry? No! What? Ew, that was disgusting. He ate it? Nice? What do you mean nice? Bro, lose motion from Joe Biden. God looks better than that. And honestly, it probably tastes better too. This is strawberry pani puri. Huh? Our strawberry pani is mean? ready. 
Now it's just a matter of cracking we have gold gold pie, put some potatoes in a nice bananas. Bananas? You're supposed to put water, potatoes in a no, banana. What are you doing? You're brown? Unreal. This pani puri is the best. No, that pani puri is not the best. That's not even pani puri anymore. What have you done? Girl, that's not a gold gappa. That's a gold siapa. My therapist has said I really need to learn how to control my anger issues so I'm gonna start watching more wholesome Indian food videos instead of the regular annoying ones. So here we have this gentleman is at this beautiful Indian restaurant with this beautiful food. Let's see how he likes it. Boy, that's not barbecue! Tastes incredible. So Breathe, push big. Breathe, count to three. One, two, three. Okay. He seems like he's enjoying the food and it, it looks pretty good to be honest. Boy, that ain't no mimosa. That's a fucking samosa. <laughs> Breathe. What do you think about it? Huh? Accompanied with That's right. She said, put that mimosa up your fucking tooth. You guys keep tagging me in this video. What is this? Coco Pups Indian what? Oh hell no, what? Ew, this is gross. What's wrong with you people? This is not okay. This is a hate crime, bro. Oh, you did not just put curry powder in there. We don't even use curry powder. Bro, that looks disgusting. Oh, you better not fry. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. You have messed with the wrong person today. I'm going to find out who you are, buddy. Italian pro chef? Hmm. Today, we're gonna make some pasta. Mamma mia, Terry Garnemek Jolta Huadilla. Look, guys, I just finished making the pasta. I ran out of spaghetti, so I had to make some other pastas in there, but it's okay, because they all taste the fucking same. But wait, guys, I forgot one detail. Chip is honestly the most essential pasta topping. Mmm! What a luli tati moment! No! What have you guys done? No! Chicken tikka masala condoms? Bro, what the fuck? But why? Who thought this was a good idea? Oh, you guys are ruining everything! Just imagine two turds from across the street having fun with the Lord. I like, Why so spicy? Would you eat chocolate biryani? I've decided that I'm gonna recreate the biryani chocolate recipe. What the fuck is wrong with you? Was 200 years of colonization not enough? Was stealing all of our spices not enough? I, I, I don't understand. Do, do you need something else? Like, common sense. Do you see me putting chocolate on fish and chips? No! So then why the fuck would you put chocolate on biryani? We have suffered enough! But you just had to make it worse, didn't you? Please! Go! To fucking jail! Cause boy, that? What's the hate crime? Next time, just stick to fish and chips, please. You sur ke ulti minhane wala batemis. Trying Indian snacks for the first time ever. One a mimosa. Oh my god, a mimosa? How wonderful. What a lovely touching moment. I just have one question for you. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the mimosa? Cause all I saw was the fucking samosa! Nah bro, I'm done with this shit. Cause you keep doing this over and over again. I've had enough. This time, I'm gonna put a spell on you and it's not gonna be Omgardium Leviosa. It's gonna be Terry Garnemagal Samosa! Maybe then you'll appreciate the difference between a mimosa and the samosa. What would happen if I mix tacos and hot? Well, at least they're not ruining their Let's seafood. Let's recreate Michael's recipe into samosas. These are Yo. so delicious. Onion and Yo, that's not a samosa. Okay, onions, Pines, good. Beans, taco beans don't put the Who Sorry, puts the beans in the samosa, you fucking bean jar? The doors are not even these spices. Make what are you doing? And put a fork along the edge, then add some butter on top edge, and pop bro? it in the air fryer oven for eight minutes. The That's eight not eight a samosa! What are we having today? Cha? Dude, I love cha. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Tastes like Christmas. Okay, whatever floats your boat. Oh, we're making our own cha. Excellent. Sir, what are you doing with that? No, you did not, you did not put curry powder in cha. This is not why you colonized us for so long. All you need is milk. Th that's a loss, sir. You might want to stop. A little bit of sugar? What are you, Indian auntie on a diet, bro? That's not a little sugar. Who are you lying to? Bro, what is this disgusting concoction? Who puts garlic in cha? What's wrong with you? Bar mil mujhe kalle! Mahesh dalle! 
Bro, I, I can't take this anymore. Last week, somebody called the jalebis honey pretzels. And I let it go after saying some angry things. But I let it go. But I'm done letting it go. Because this week, somebody had the audacity to call this thing an Indian mimosa. Boy, how is that a mimosa? It's not a mimosa, it's a samosa. You don't see me going to a hot dog stand and being like, Oh, today I'm gonna try a garam kutta. And you definitely don't see me buying fried pickles and calling it lora pakora. So then why are you calling a samosa a mimosa? Sorry, sorry, I got a little carried away. Let me put this nicely. That's a samosa, not a mimosa. Salia, tu mimosa. Teri ma mimosa. Tera sara khandan mimosa. I'm gonna watch this whole video without getting angry. Okay, we're trying Indian desserts today. I love Indian desserts. From Mumbai, the capital. Capital of India is Delhi. That's okay. Uh, it's not good. It's a gulab jam, and it's dipped in syrup, not oil. Instant delicious. It's delicious, isn't it? Well, tastes. Like heaven nine ten. Nine out of ten, ten Salia Teddy Pen. How dare you bloody pool ek do teen Charman Shesa or no das gyara mother to bar I'll show you some real gulab jumbles if you know what I mean. Scary texture, but Ras Malai boy, that is Kir. That is Kir sugary Kir You fucking Kir Poor Indian Kir. Kir? Boy, this is Ras Malai! Oh, why? Bye! Have you right, guys? I love chicken biryani! What was that? It's so quick and a healthy version of a chicken biryani. Are those strawberries? You boy, you better not be putting any strawberries in the chicken biryani. No! No! Don't do it! Somebody gonna get hurt real bad! Are you alright, bro? You can only handle one spice. Why did you colonize us for 200 years to steal our spices only to use one? Bro, that looks disgusting, man. Slice white with a bit of butter on it. Come off it, mate. That is bang. Mate, that's a hate crime, isn't it? You guys see this right here? That's called a jalebi. One of the best sweets of all time. A jalebi. And yes, it's the same jalebi from that song. Baby, let me see. Jalebi, baby. I just want to eat a jalebi, baby. But someone had the nerve to call this jalebi a goddamn Indian jelly bean. Like, why would you do that? It's a jelly bean, not an Indian jelly bean. It has nothing to do with jelly or bean. But when it comes to the Italian food, you give it full respect by calling it an Italian gelato, which is what it is. I don't see you call it a frozen Italian jizz ball. Salia, teri pandi jelly bean. You could have at least called it like a honey pretzel or something. Dude, I love- Honey pretzels? <laughs> Bro, I need to know who the hell thought it was a good idea to rename jalebis into honey pretzels. Honey pretzels? Boy, what? Like the song goes like, Jalebi baby. It doesn't go like, Honey pretzel baby. Like what? Like, dude, no. Side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Bombastic side eye. This is offensive. Do you want me to rename your foods? Cause boy, I will do it. Actually, let's do it right now. Oh look, it's a chicken pakora. Here we have a heart disease vada pao. If it isn't a garam kutta. If you don't like a garam kutta, just have maki de kutte. And boy, Americans absolutely love this one. Suwar kachuthad. Like dude, they love suwar kachuthad so much, they even make a suwar kachuthad vada pao. And sometimes they'll even have a garam kutta wrapped in a suwar kachuthad. And lastly, the favorite dessert of so many Americans, Joe Biden ki gand. Okay, I think I took it a little bit too far. Yes, I got very mad when I saw somebody rename jalebis into honey pretzels. But I think I let the anger get the best of me and I took it way too far and I should have blamed Americans for it. Like, I don't even know if they were the ones who did it. That's why I'm gonna rename British food because they probably did it. They colonized us after all. Let's start with your favorite, fish and chips. Bro, this is just a fish pakora without masala. If you're gonna colonize us for two, three hundred years and you're gonna steal all our spices, at least use them. Cause this is just a bland fish pakora with some alu. Speaking of alu, what the hell is blood pudding, bro? It just looks like jelly who alu tiki. And I'm sorry, but what the fuck <laughs> is this? Steak and kidney pudding? Boy, this is what the spider in your toilet sees after gora pakora's Indian food for the first time. You should just call it lose motion pudding. 